How did you manage to leave Rhodesia? Well, we decided as soon as we got uh, news that um, um, our deten detention orders for me and my colleagues were ready and, and that there was danger of us being liquidated, uh, uh, we decided on Monday evening to pack the few belongings we felt uh, we required for the journey and went into hiding for the night. The following day, we, uh, we uh, uh, left for the airport having bought some uh, tickets, air tickets, and we went there disguised uh, somehow, but not completely. My, my colleague uh, was putting on a, a Hawaiian type of straw hat, and I was putting on uh, a woolen cap to, to hide my bald head. And uh, we went through that way with little uh, interruption until we got onto a South African plane, flew to Jan Smart Airport, and for the first time felt free in South Africa. Surely the Rhodesian security must have been a little bit lax then. Well, we don't think so because we don't think that they had been alerted of the possibility of our leaving the country through the airport. They, they still were thought we were still hunting for us somewhere at home. Do you think it's possible that they let you escape? No, not at all. Not at all. If we had not left home, the detention orders would have been served on us. And in fact, subsequently, the special branch, while we were in this hideout, uh, visited our homes and, uh, and searched our homes extensively. We, we were told uh, by colleagues. 